Get up. What are you doing this very second? I took time out of my workout to give this intense and powerful message for you because I feel it, and if you're watching this, you probably gotta hear it. How is your life right now? If you're watching this, if you need this, there is a big chance your life isn't as fucking exceptional as you want it to be. What determination do you have? What perseverance, what intensity do you have? Can you build the life, the career, the work that you absolutely fucking want to build? Will you break over and jump over and work around every single barrier that's in your way? If you have to learn something, to strive to do something, to figure something out, will you? I'm here to tell you that accessing that kind of energy is easy. And it's also really, really fucking hard. It's easy to maintain and it's hard to get into if you lose it. The reason I'm recording this video right now with all the intense emotional power that I feel in this moment is because I want it to transfer to you. I want the mirror neurons that exist in your brain to see the intensity in my face, the intensity in my voice, and see that you can be absolutely intensely fucking pumped up for your goal or your goals, whatever they may be. That you can learn that you can strive, that you can succeed, that you can do whatever the fuck you have to do. Realize that if you don't believe in yourself, if you don't persist and realize that you can do this this very second, this very day, even if it's one minute towards your goal, it's not gonna happen. There's nobody who's going to come in to swoop and save you. There's no massive check that's going to come in and be cash and solve all of your problems. There's no fairy godmother. There's nothing that will come and make your life the way you want it to be. And until you realize that, you're gonna be exactly where you are. If you believe in a higher power, whatever that higher power might be, whatever name it might have, whatever tradition it might be, whether that power is a force of the divine, a force of the systems of life, of governments, something within, unless you allow, unless you align, unless you will it to be, it ain't gonna happen. So think about what you want to make happen. Don't be rash in your actions. If you have to quit your job, if you have to leave your partner, if you have to go on a trip, if you have to enroll in school, if you have to get something done, do it rationally. Do it in the balance of your life, but feel your intensity and capture it. Think about the best and worst case scenario, and if you're able to do it, fucking do it. Go somewhere where you feel safe, where you feel unhindered by social conditioning, by possible consequences of whoever might be around you, and just say with all the emotional intensity you can who you are and what your goal is and what your drive is. This does not have to be what so many people say is your one true thing for your entire life. Certainty and perfection are illusions, are myths. The world is constantly changing every single day with the exponential power of technology and global disruption and all the change I see originating from here in Silicon Valley where I live guarantees the fact that our style of life 10 years from now will be completely different from what it is today. Think about American culture, think about global culture, Chinese culture in the 1990s, 1980s, 1920s, 1820s. I hope you live a long life, but even that is unknown. If today were your last day, your last month, your last year, what would you do? Yes, saving and planning for the future are important, but if you don't totally believe with passion that you're doing something that absolutely matters, you are wasting your fucking life. And I don't want you to have that feeling. Something that matters could be your kids. Something that matters could be a professional goal. It could be a creative goal. It could be a self-realization. It could be a healing. Who knows what it is? But I can guarantee you from the things that I have seen and felt and experienced and heard that anything is possible. Some things might take an incredible amount of effort. Building human civilization on Mars, having a clean, independent, globally distributed source of energy, these things are within reach, but they're kind of difficult. Maximizing your potential as a human being and understanding fully what that is might be really, really tough. I don't know if anybody has fully, fully done it yet. A few people have and they've talked about it, um, but anybody really, really embraced by the entire world. So I leave this up to you, my friend. I'm here because I believe in you, I support you, I want you to succeed, and I want you to know that it's up to you. If you don't make the decision inside of you to work at it, 
to make it happen, to be it, to feel it, to live it, it's not going to happen. Your life circumstances may be such that you feel your only option is to give up or to wait. Can you find one minute a day to get pumped to write down your goals to make a video which is actually way more powerful in modern times where you can see your face, you can hear your voice, you can understand and then reabsorb your own convictions and determination? Can you introspect just a little bit and get a hold in your mind of something that you want and something that you can have? There's a lot of unhealthy things in this world that we want based on our base desires, our lizard brain, our amygdala, our social conditioning that make us think we want them. But really feel what is in your best interest, what would make you whole, and what is accessible. If the only way for you to feel whole is to have something that you believe is impossible, get over it, pick a different goal. I haven't seen anybody with my eyes levitate stuff. I haven't seen anybody with my own eyes wave their hands and magically like a curtain of fire appears or they teleport and disappear from one place to the next. I haven't seen anybody with my own eyes say, I wish this person would love me and that person appears and loves them instantly. And I have not seen anybody who says, I wish I need, I must have a million dollars, a billion dollars, a trillion dollars, whatever. Pick something that you believe in yourself that you know you can achieve. Pick something that is realistic, but pick something that will stretch you. Pick something that another human being has achieved or gotten very close to achieving. The four minute mile used to be impossible, now a ton of people are doing it. Raising our body temperatures at will and changing our heart rates at will used to be thought impossible. And then we found out it isn't, that it is possible. And a man named Wim Hof learned some of these techniques and teaches people around the world how to raise their body temperatures to feel fine and comfortable in a giant tank of ice. Every single thing that has been brought up in science, in physics, in human biology, in life, and what people believe is achievable versus not, has been questioned, has been challenged, and most have been transcended. What can you do with one minute a day? Tony Robbins says, take an hour of power. I have a four hour chunk of time every day that I devote to rising up. And that rising up coincides with all my other goals. Fitness is important, we have to do it or we'll be a lazy, fat, disgusting blob. <laughs> and we won't feel good and we won't have energy. Affirmations, visualizations, goal setting is important or else we don't have clarity, we won't have conviction. Reading, learning, growing, expanding is important because it conditions us to be who we care to be, who we wish to be inside. And if done well, it also helps us grow and master a skill. If you want to master anything, if you want to be the expert in something, you don't do what you did yesterday. You do it 1% better, 5, 10, 20, 30, 50% better. Whatever your practice is, even if it's non-existent, I say take one minute to pump yourself up, to realize and believe in yourself that you can do it. If you're paralyzed, if you have a terminal diagnosis, if you're broke or bankrupt or in jail, if somebody you love just died or left you, any tragedy that you can think of does not give you the free and open and infinite ticket to self-pity and to giving up. That is your choice. And if you don't have any of those conditions, if your body and mind are working okay, then you have even less of an excuse to give up on yourself. I've known people who stole purses from old ladies, who cut themselves, who did all sorts of things that we wouldn't attribute to a holistic, good, strong, healthy being. And those same individuals are earning thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a month in the profession now, and they are well respected, and they are not just healed, but they are healing others. I believe the entire human race can thrive and can be free from suffering. That is one of my goals. But in the meantime, there's things to get up to that goal. There's a lot of injustice in the world. There's a lot of inequality in the world. There's a lot of misunderstanding in the world. There's a lot of perceived lack in the world. There's a lot of poverty in the world. There's a lot of filth in the world. There's a lot of toxicity in the world. And there's a lot of people debating <laughs> what the best solution is. And there's a lot of people striving for power and for money to make their vision, which they feel is true, into reality. I believe I can succeed, and I believe it'll take a lot more than the kind of person I am now, which is why I continuously invest in myself and my own growth. 
If all you can invest is a minute of thought, do it. If you can invest more time, more effort, more energy, more money, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. If you had any time in life where your progress and your upward mobility was at a greater time period than it is now, think about that. Think about one defining thing of that time that you can replicate and replicate it. And if it was something you believe you can't, if you lost a part of your body, if there's a lost loved one, if there's something maybe irrevocably changed, if you lost your freedom, if you feel discouraged, if you're overweight, if anything that comes up, find a way around it. Life took you to this point. How will you respond? I believe that things happen to us for a reason. I believe that the meaning of life is something that we decide for ourselves. And I believe that life gives us in any moment what we need to grow the most. This is something I asked for when I was 14. This is something I still feel today. You may call that a rationalization, but at the end of the day, it's what gets you results that matters. Take care of yourself. Grow yourself, grow your life, build up and stay there. Find your support network, do what you have to do. I hope for you that you have the resources to continuously grow and continuously invest in yourself. And if you don't, then your first project, your first goal, your first assignment is to find those resources. If that's motivation, if that's money, if that's time, if that's social support, if that's removing a negative influence in your life, whatever, whatever any of those things are, any other thing you can think of, make the change. I believe in you, but nothing will change unless you believe in yourself. There's a fabulous artist named Fearless Soul. They have an excellent track called Believe in Yourself. They also talk about gratitude, thoughts become things, which they absolutely can do, and purpose. I encourage you to find them. They're on Spotify and they're in other locations. Listen to them, absorb them, drink them in. Create your own stuff, even just for yourself. And if anybody in your life puts you down or takes away your power, you have infinite permission to hide this from them. You have infinite permission to try or to succeed in taking their influence out of your life. If you live with somebody that you cannot get away from, if you have a person in your life or people you see at home, at work, whatever, whether you're 14 or 74 or 34, it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what it is. Exert some will and some control over life. Prove you can. Blink your eyes. Realize that you have some power over this reality, over this world, over your life. If you didn't, then you'd still be a baby in a crib. You have probably taken steps. If you haven't taken steps, you have probably moved some part of your body. If that's all you can do, if all you can do is think the word happy, if you're listening to this, you absolutely can do that. Start somewhere. Push yourself. It will happen. If I can help you make that happen through videos, through coaching, through writing, through seminars, through retreats, through events, through conversations, through anything, please let me know. I'm here for you. And while I am working on building my life and my business at the same time, I cannot keep this to myself. I don't want to keep it to myself. And if even only one person sees this video, then I've succeeded. I've heard and I believe that if you want to be successful at something, find somebody else who succeeded and emulate them. Tim Ferriss said he started his podcast and started his book because he wanted it for himself. He was his first and best customer. And I believe that wholeheartedly. I need this stuff, but more so I need to give it to others. I need the world to be lifted up so I can be lifted up. So I need the world to be lifted up so I can be lifted up. I care so much about the happiness of humankind that I'm willing to take time out of my day, out of my workout, to make this video, to record this powerful, intense, emotional state. You must be true to yourself. You must persevere. You must take that one minute and expand it as far as you can, but it must be something you do every single day. Because you know if you look at yourself, 
consistency is huge. If you don't maintain something, you could lose it. I don't want you to lose it. I fucking believe in you. And if you fucking believe in yourself, make it happen. You can do it. And it can be fun and it can be happy. When you get to the point of studying true enlightenment, true mastery, you gain control over and harmony with your emotions. You can be intensely determined, you can be relaxed and happy. And I'm so grateful for my teachers who claim to teach versions of enlightenment, versions that are spiritual, versions that are just based on neuroscience, versions that help you understand what the amygdala is and how it can go into overdrive, and versions that help you realize you can find inner peace at any moment. I'm not on any drug or substance. This is all just me. And if you need to go deep for a predetermined or a safe container space of time, not always being there because then you don't feel your intense strength, but if you need to go deep and vulnerable, you can go there too. I've suffered, I've hurt, I've almost died three times if not more. I've bled, I've cried. There were times when I thought about giving up. And however you want to translate that, those are thoughts that went through my head. But I'm still here, and so are you. And whether you're on top of a mountain, or you have one foot and one arm holding you from jumping off a bridge, realize that there's hope. Realize that there's others out there who have gone through whatever you're going through. Yes, you and your situation are unique, but you are part of this civilization. There is a place for you in this world. And until I get to know you, I don't know where that is, but you might know. You might be able to find it. I believe in you, and I want you to believe in yourself. And I want you to remember, you are more powerful than you have ever imagined. Even that, you can do and more. Look up the greats. Look up the ones who you expect. Look up the greats. Look up the ones who you respect. Find something in them that you can emulate. Find something in them that you can be. My one caveat is if your path leads you to harming yourself or harming others, and you'll know this in your heart of hearts, no matter what you would say to justify it, I wish anybody who feels that way absolute failure. My grandmother was a survivor in the Holocaust. She watched her mom die in front of her. I happen to be gay. I believe it's something that I was born with, like many gays and lesbians around the world. I've seen and felt and received victimization as a gay Jew, as a spiritual person, as a non-spiritual person, I've gone between devout belief in God, in my own definitions, and intense atheism, and I've oscillated, and I've been everywhere in between. But one thing I do know is that this world is here to help you. This world is here to liberate you. And if your thoughts or anger or fears or other emotions ever drive you to feel like you need to hurt another human being, there's something in you to heal. I can say with absolute honesty and sincerity that I have hurt other people and I am so grateful that that hurt has not been permanent. I am so grateful that that hurt hasn't taken my life circumstances to a point away from my control or perceived control. And I'm so happy and grateful that I realized that after I hurt those people, I learned that that was wrong and that when I hurt myself from how I treated my body, from things I put into my mouth from things I put into my environment that I forgive myself. And if you want forgiveness for that thing that you did, I forgive you. You may need to make amends, and if so, go make amends however you can, one bit at a time, if not all at once. 
but also know that I love you. You're a fellow human being. You have every right to be happy. You have every right to be peaceful. You have every fucking right to be determined. Don't lose sight. Don't lose hope. Don't lose your convictions. You can make it happen. If you want more support, reach out for me. I'll help you however I can. This is the start of the rest of your life. It's up to you where your path goes from here.